It's 1979 and you want to jump into social media. But social media is new. It didn't exist back then. Well, not exactly, but there was a form of social media and it was simply called going online. Going online meant using your computer to make a phone call to another computer in order to exchange messages. The information service CompuServe had just been introduced and the computerized bulletin board, the BBS, had just been invented the year before and BBSs were starting to spring up all over the place. Since there was no broadband or wireless technology, regular analog voice telephone service was used to carry the signals from your computer. In addition to phone service, you also needed an actual telephone. The most common phone you'd find in someone's home in 1979 would have been a rotary phone with a dial. And this is where the term dialing comes from. Touchtone phones were certainly available, but touchtone service cost extra, and why pay for it when rotary phones work just fine? The phone company had a lot of regulations regarding what people were allowed to connect to phone lines owned by the phone company, and they didn't want people plugging in equipment that the phone company hadn't leased to them. Because of that, modems didn't plug directly into the phone line and instead used something called an acoustic coupler that the handset of a telephone would be pressed into. The phone itself was something people rented from the phone company. People didn't normally own their own phones. And because the phones came from the phone company, almost all of them used the exact same shape of handset, making it possible to make acoustic couplers that would work with almost any phone. The most common computers people would have used back then would have been a computer running CPM, an Apple II, a Commodore PET, or a Radio Shack Trash 80. For this demo, I'm using a Radio Shack Trash 80 Model 2 running CPM, which was released in 1979. It's a little unusual because it's a business computer. The only reason I chose it for this demo is because I thought people would get a kick out of the gigantic 8-inch floppy disks. More commonly, computers were using the smaller 5 quarter inch disks, but since they typically held only a few hundred kilobytes, business computers were still using the larger 8-inch disks, which could hold up to a megabyte. All right, with all the components gathered together to go online, let's turn it on and call into the BBS. Because the modem can't handle any of the dialing or connecting to a phone line, it doesn't accept any commands from the computer. There's no way to tell the modem to dial a number, you do that with your telephone. There's no command from the computer to tell the modem to answer since it can't hear the phone ringing and it can't pick up the handset and stick it in the coupler anyway. In fact, many acoustic modems didn't even have an answer mode, you could only use them to call a service. Switch on the modem and dial the BBS. One, nine, one, six, nine, six, five, one, seven, zero, one. And wait for it to ring. It's ringing. Modems were not fast, and there were two speeds commonly in use, 110 baud, or about 10 characters per second, and 300 baud, or 30 characters per second. 1200 baud modems were brand new, and not too many people had them. Since modems were analog, sometimes people would overclock their 300 baud modems up to 450 or even 600 baud. They didn't have to modify the modems, they just fed data through them at a faster rate. Sometimes it worked if you had a good connection, sometimes it didn't. Online communication was text-based. All online communication was done by using a terminal or software to turn your computer into a terminal. The things you type in are immediately sent to the other end, and the text received is immediately displayed on your screen. There's no concept of a web page or URLs or JPEGs. Your computer didn't need to download a page of HTML to decode it and display it. As the data arrives, you watch it appear.
Now that the message is posted, you have to hang up so that someone else can call in and read it, maybe even reply to it. Later on, or maybe the next day, you call the BBS back to see if there's any new messages to read. If you're feeling brave, connect to the BBS yourself and see if there's any new replies, or even post one of your own. I hope you enjoyed this look at what social media was in 1979 and the dial-up technology required to go online.